So if you've watched us in the past, you know we're no strangers to larceny. So if you're looking for the backstory for John Fitzgerald, tonight's not the night. <laughs> We've got lots of good stuff to drink and sip on and give you our full review next. <laughs> Welcome back to 21090. I am Andy. This is Todd. Oh, and we're man. excited tonight. One of your all time favorites, it, Larceny, kind of made you fall in love is, with bourbon in the yes. first place. They surprised us all last year with their very first barrel proof release, the A120, which was a yep. big hit. Yep. And we loved it. Yes. And of course, we had to get the other two that <laughs> followed, the B and the C. And then you found your very first hey. unicorn. And you got the uh, the A121 right out of the gate. So in, in this trajectory, as we're seeing some progress and then each batch brings something a little bit yep. more different and special, we can't wait to dive into the A121. So Todd, you want to tell us a little bit about the uh, bourbon we're sipping on tonight? Well, you know, it's it's your famous Larsen mash bill. 68% corn, 20% wheat, and 12% malted barley. You know, you mentioned this is the, the, the one whiskey, probably two years ago now, that the regular Larsen, kind of got me into, oh, I can drink this neat. I loved it. And now I'm into barrel proofs, right? So I, I, I love barrel proofs, which is funny. Once you get on the train, you can but get off. But the 2021, you know, but the proof is much lower on this compared to last year, which is interesting to me. Yeah, so that initial batch clocking in around 123, and yeah. I think the other two were right around 122, 121. Uh, so we're, we're getting a little bit weaker here with 114. Uh, but, but that does not yeah. mean it's not going to bring right. The flavor yeah. that we expect, the traditional, really kind of sweet um, caramel, like cinnamon forward. Uh, I can't wait. Taste that we've, we've grown accustomed yeah. to in the past. So let's get a nose on yeah. this. We A121. just popped this uh, tonight for About the first 20 time. minutes ago, right? We let it sit for a while. Oh. <sighs> it's not as overpowering. Uh, the nose on it. Um, out of the gates, no. Right? Um, it's, it's, not, not. it's not. It's not crazy. But I am I am getting some some cherry notes on this. So you get a little like the kind of pitted fruit type note on this. All yeah, some sweet it's notes, the sweetness, like the, but I'm getting more of the sweet sort of it's that, that caramel, that the nuttiness, almost some oak. Like, almost like a it sounds weird, like almost like a tea-ish type, like yeah, like a it's, sweet it's tea. It's almost muted though. You know, like That's a, what's you know, weird like a sweet me. tea, like a normal yeah. Palmer type yeah. smell. Yeah, that's a good description. Yeah, you know. Yeah. All right. Well, All right, let's let's uh let's, let's get taste it. A one twenty one. It's got a. I like the finish. It's not like it, it's different here. It's a, up front, you know, to me, you get a little bit of that cinnamon, black, pe that, pe that peppery, right? And I'm not. Are you getting huge caramel notes on this, though? No, not right. really. Um, which surprises me. The second sip actually felt a little bit bigger, which yes. I'm, I'm glad because I thought. Right. I think the finish is good. I think the, I finish the first sip was a little bit. I wanted more punch. I wasn't. Yeah, I really wasn't right. getting it. Making me think, to, does it suffer from the lower proof? Um, let's just say this. Mm -hmm. I remember being wowed mm -hmm. by that A120 from last year. And this doesn't scream wow to me. That doesn't mean that I, bourbons, again, when they open up a little bit sometimes, you know, you see things change a little bit. But my initial impression is it's, it's good, it's not great. But I'll tell um, you what. Yeah, let's just compare it. We've got, uh, <laughs> we've got last year's lot to kind of revisit. Let's do it. We'll see how about we think of those and we'll give you our full rating at the end. All right. All right, so let's go back to the let's A do it. 120. We'll Can't go uh, A120, then the B520, and then the C920. Uh, let's do it. And so we'll just kind of we'll just kind of take it right down the line and we'll let you know which one we like best. But this was yeah. out of the gates, but this was so mm. much fun for us because we loved the fact that we could get a barrel yeah. proof of larceny. So so you know, smell on this, it's it's again it's we mentioned that when the A121, it's not overpowering. I don't think it is for a barrel proof. It's still not knock you off the socks. I think it's nice. It's pleasant. I think it's it well balanced. I mean, I'm getting. I don't know why I said this earlier when I sniffed. It, I'm getting some like apple, green yeah, apple. I think I am a little bit on this too, though. It's weird. Right. So that's certainly different than the A121. Let's get the taste. Sip. Cheers. A120. Certainly, certainly, uh, right off the bat. You can tell it's a bigger whiskey, proof-wise, right? I'm not sure. I think, to me, um, 
See, I'm getting yeah, it's more sweetness. I'm getting this. way more I caramel. Think, on this. Yeah, so, I'm saying, so yeah. I think that might be throwing it off. Yeah, because way more caramel. And I think a little this bit we oak. jumped on it. It's the first time. Is we really like forward. that. Just, yeah, that, that's the A121. Mm. So yeah, we love the uh, the A120 last year. There's a reason. I and think we like that so much. I think it's a it's a really well balanced uh, whiskey. Um, yeah. It's sweet. There is some heat. The finish is nice on that. Um, you get some of those cinnamon notes we talked about. We wanted from yep. A121. Yeah, it's really nice. Alrighty, so the next one is the B520, of course, the second offering from 2020. I know when we did this last year, we really, really enjoyed this one. What was your take? Well, I mean, I think after the initial like love that we had for that, the the very first yes. release, you're hoping things get bigger, better, and and you just it just continues to evolve. Ooh. I just remember this didn't disappoint. Oh, no. um, I can tell you right now, like the nose. The nose was, I, his, if I remember, his. one of my favorites of the lot, if not the favorite of the oh, three. Caramel. Uh, I get the, the nuttiness again. The nuttiness is really shining not through. Not close to as much as No, the but I still, I offering, get it. But it's sweet like honey. It's sweet. Yeah. This is, so the A, it smells beautiful. A 120 did have a lot of sweet notes on it, yeah. this, but this, yeah. this just had, I the think, B520. the prettiest of, oh. of the noses I remember. Super sweet. And that doesn't disappoint now. This is really good. Cheers. Cheers, man. All right. B520. Can it have gotten better in a year, Andy? I love that. I love that. I'm also getting vanilla on that, mm -hmm. which is something new from the first we've done. I mean, we did the A121, we did the A120, B520. I'm getting now a vanilla. Um, the caramel is still. I, I also think this had one of the better finishes of all. Oh, that's beautiful. This has a nice long finish without really, really like. I, I still feel it. it. You know, oh, I mean, it, it's, it's, not, it's not, it's that good burn you get when it goes down with it a barrel proof that you really like. There. Yeah. Rock solid. It, really it, it hold, good. It holds well. Yeah. And again, when you knew another one was coming, mm -hmm. after the excitement of the A, the B didn't disappoint. In fact, it brought the game. So is C even better than the first two? Let's, uh, let's find out next. So the C comes in clocking right around the same proof uh, as the B. But this one was kind of the bell of the ball for a lot of reviewers out there. They really liked C as the best of the lot. We also enjoyed it, but again, we, we thought the, the We never actually reviewed fantastic. it on camera. We didn't do it on camera. No. no. Uh, so let's do this on camera for the first time. I tell you what, um, um, I do like the nose. It, it, it's interesting to see how these nose and even the taste so far have really changed in each yeah. batch, which is great. Um, I think this nose might be the most reminiscent of the newest release. Yes. This leans more back towards those pitted fruits, I yep. think, versus kind of the really hot, I'm even getting like a butterscotch though a little bit. Think of that sweet, again, it's the sweetness. I'm trying to identify what that I is. I just don't think, it, it doesn't come across as in your face no, as the A and the B. If, if Certainly, I agree with you 100%. Let's see what the taste does. Right. This tastes oily. Like, it, 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 it's almost the viscosity of it seems yep. thicker on this one. Yeah. It's not, I mean. Is that right? You get that too? Yeah. Um, Which I like a I lot. I do, I do. It's got a really pretty mouthfeel is what, mm -hmm. you're, what we, I think you're getting at there. And uh, I don't remember that from when we tried this a year, well, it wasn't a year ago, uh, several months ago. But uh, I tell you what, Oak, you mentioned that, we talked about the, the, the cherry, like I'm getting like a dark cherry, like the, those pitted fruits again here. And I don't know if cherry's a pitted fruit, but um, well, that sort of, it, it is. is mm, I like this a lot. I think the finish on this is really nice too. Uh, again, more. It's a little stronger than mm. the A, mm -hmm. and I think more reminiscent of the B. The nose matches the newer lot. The A one twenty one. I really do think so. But not the flavor. The overall balance is really Ooh. pretty on this. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be a tough decision here. All right. So what we're gonna do here is so. you, you saw our initial review of the newest A one twenty one, which um, I mean, we'll get to. Andy, tell us about how we're gonna rate this. We're gonna, we're gonna rate these as a pass, purchase, or pour. Okay. Basically, pass is not worth your time. If you see it in the stores, pass on by. Um, purchase being, this is great, you gotta have it. See it, buy it. Buy it, buy two, buy three, whatever, it's great. And then a pour is, maybe you wanna try it somewhere first at a nice uh, you know, restaurant, bar, yep. or at a friend's, friend's house. Friend's house. As I have to come you're, to your house. You're welcome. That's why I'm glad you found the A121. <laughs> no, so, come oh, I, where do you want to start? I think we should start out with the A121 okay. it, it, and, and then move move through the uh, the three right. from 20. So, I, I will tell you this. What, what will you, Ty, what's your past purchase? I will for? say this. Um, if I see any of these ever, I'm always purchasing them because of who they are, what it is, it's larceny. 
um, I'm always going to purchase it if it's within the right price range, right? These, we got this close to MSRP. I think it was 64. It was close, right? Um, they can gouge it, but I, I, listen, does this wow me? No. I'm going to purchase it next, when the B comes out, I'm going to purchase, if I see it in the C, I'm going to do it, right? So are you. But if you're not into I barrel think, proofs, yeah. I think this is a pour. Well, and, uh, and sometimes you get, it's a pour. you get greedy in the collection. You want right. to kind of see what the vertical to, leads right. you to. But for me, I'm also with you. I think it's definitely not a, a pass. Mm -hmm. It's something you want to think about. If you see it, you're like, ooh, I, I And this may grow it. on us. We just it it's could. A, um, even going back again, I'm, I feel like I'm enjoying the nose just a little bit more. Yeah, it is. You know? Yeah. Uh, but still, to me, was probably the weakest of the lot here. I so, think you're right. Which, so I think it, it was a little bit disappointing because you you're expecting this to get progressively better as each year and batch comes along. It's just, and, there was um, not that wow factor to it. Yeah, I think it was maybe a little bit more of the same. It's a great bourbon, but, yeah. but we, we were kind of hoping for a bit more. So this would be a pour for me as well. Okay, Andy, so then the next one so, in the 2020, let's start with A again. So A for me is A120. all day uh, <laughs> A120 is a purchase just simply because A, it was- It's gone. It was the first ever uh, larceny barrel proof. If you it see that did, out there, you're grabbing it. Yeah. I mean, if it's still out <laughs> you there, you it. see it, you're grabbing because it. Because it was, it was just, it was cool to have larceny at a, at a bigger proof. You always wonder sometimes what, what's, what would this be like if we just cranked it up a little bit. Yeah. It didn't disappoint. And then the B would be fighting with the C for the best of the lot. So I'm going to so tell you both of those are yeah. also purchases. They're both purchases, well. 100%. So the only poor I would say for me right now would be the new one. Um, but again, you may try and say, I, I got it. Yeah, have. so that's a good thing. So in the comments below, if you've had A121 yeah. and you're familiar with the offerings from last year, let us know how you think it stacks up. Did you love it? Maybe you're different than us and, and that's all good. The, the fun thing about this is now that they've had four out, and we've yeah. got two more coming, yeah. people are going to gravitate towards something that they're like, I, I just love the B or I love the C or love the, you're going to start to have your favorites and, and, and then those comments get more and more fun because yes. you're attached Please, to up. something. So yeah. you may think we're way off. Uh, or you might think we're spot on, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> That's right. We're off more than we're on, right? So it doesn't matter. Yeah, or should it be the other way around? Something like that. So we'd love to know your thoughts. Um, mm. And of course, we're hoping to get the other we two will. from this year so we, we can will. do a full vertical again to show you. We've got some ideas for um, how to do that too, yeah. which is fun. So stick with us. Hit that, uh, and you have the whole out outro here, so why don't I tell them what to do? I like you taking over this one. You want to try it? You, you, you want to <laughs> well, you know, if you like what you see here at 21090, please hit that subscribe button. We are going to bring you a lot of whiskey content, mm -hmm. right? Is this making you feel weird? No, you're missing a couple things. Do oh, good. Help, do you want me to help you? Yeah, please do. <laughs> Watch. If you like what you see from 21090, please hit that bell button. Click that little subscribe button. It's going to let you know every time we got a new video. We've got Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and on tap. See how he says it is really off. easy. We go live every Tuesday night. Uh, our top, top 10. 10 with 210, we have on distilleries, uh, breweries, professional chefs, yes. all kinds of, uh, it's it's just fun. And then we talk a little bit about beer, whiskey, and rock and roll. So it's a, it's a good time. And then we, of course, have our infamous top 10 list. Yep. Um, we are beta testing the applause button, and we yes. appreciate those of you who have already been yeah, uh, it's great. helping us out with that. So if you do feel Wait, so support inclined, the channel. Yeah, we really appreciate channel, that. We appreciate that. But uh, like you said, much more whiskey uh, mm -hmm. content on the way. We're trying to do it every week, so stay with us. But in the meantime, if you see it, grab it or pour it, whatever, <laughs> yeah. and let us and know, let us know what, you what you think, and we bring you more good stuff All right, real Andy. soon. Well done. Cheers, Cheers. guys. Mm. Mm. Mm.